This is Bob Myers from the Historical Society of Michigan with a Michigan History Moment. She was daring and fearless, a writer, actress, and aviatrix with a thirst for fame. Harriet Quimby exemplified the new woman of the early 20th century and led a life of adventure. Harriet Quimby was born near Arcadia, near Frankfort, Michigan, in 1875, the daughter of William and Ursula Quimby. Her parents' farm failed to thrive, so they started a patent medicine business. Ursula mixed up batches of an herbal remedy, Quimby's Liver Invigorator, that William sold around the country. The Quimby family moved to California in the mid-1880s. There, Harriet Quimby began writing for newspapers, becoming a drama critic and feature writer for Leslie's Illustrated Weekly. Quimby moved to New York City in the early 20th century. She decided that her true persona was too mundane for her dashing image, so she dropped 10 years from her age and changed her birthplace to Arroyo Grande, California. Not content to merely write about theater, Quimby took to the stage herself and wrote scripts for silent movies. In October 1910, Quimby attended the Belmont Park International Aviation Tournament in Long Island, New York to write an article about the event. There she met aviator John Moissant and began taking flying lessons from the Moissant Aviation School. On August 1, 1911, Harriet Quimby became the first American woman to earn a pilot's license. The new aviatrix won fame as a pilot. She competed in flying meets and became the first female pilot to make a night flight. She sailed to England, borrowed an airplane, and in 1912 became the first woman to fly across the English Channel. Always flamboyant, Quimby dressed in a plum-colored satin flying suit. The hooded blouse with riding breeches style pants became her trademark. Quimby bought a two-seat Blériot 11 airplane and entered the Boston Aviation Meet. On July 1, 1912, she took event organizer William Willard for a ride over Boston Harbor. Near the field, at an altitude of about a thousand feet, the Blériot suddenly pitched nose down. Horrified spectators saw both pilot and passenger plummet from the airplane and strike the water near shore. They died instantly. In 1991, the United States Postal Service issued an airmail stamp bearing Quimby's image. She was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 2004 and the Michigan Women's Hall of Fame in 2013. In death, Harriet Quimby has achieved the fame she craved in life. This Michigan History Moment was brought to you by MichiganHistoryMagazine.org.